everyone. It's that time again. Been to a, a few car boots since the last video. Um, got a few, few retro items to show you. Um, some interesting stuff. So, I think I'll start with what I have in the picture. So, uh, first of all, we've got this mantin. Well, it's a tin, isn't it? I don't know if it's a mantin per se, but it's a tin nonetheless. I'm keeping this. There's no way I'm selling it, all of it. I found a few uh, a couple of months back, slightly bigger than this. And I sold them. I made some good money on them, to be fair, but I regretted selling them. They had like sheeny clamps on. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put it. Or I'll find somewhere. Okay, next up in that picture, you've got this A1 tape measure. This is still in its original packet. Absolutely brand new. Doesn't look like it's been used. There's a tiny couple of rust spots, but nothing, nothing at all major really, look at that. Absolutely mint. Beautiful. You do see a fair few of these on eBay, to be fair. Quite common. But in the original packet, nah, you don't see them. I might be keeping that as well. And finally, in that photo you see a little repair outfit tin now i've found a few of these but i've not found any that have that are pressed on the dunlop sign it's just slightly unusual dunlop accessories for the wise man's toolkit that is class and you got most of the stuff in there five cycle valve rubbers you've got the uh, chalk puffer some other bits the original patches as well that was proper cool I've, I've been picking these up because I, I never used to I thought that they ain't worth that much, but they have been selling pretty well on eBay. And they, they are always 50p a pound. Um, I think this one was two pound. The guy said it was a rare one. Somebody wanted two pound, so I said, all right, fair enough. I'll probably get 10 quid for that. But I do like that one, so I may be keeping it. That was 50p. I forgot to tell you the prices, don't I? And that was... I think it was two quid. But again, for a really old tin. Condition's just really nice. Proper clothes as well. Nice and tight. So, I think this is my tin of keeps. Probably need a bigger tin. Right, we've got a 20 inch tube from Tesco and a 26 inch tube from Tesco. 20 pence each. 20 pence. Uh, we've got a shoe clip safety light. Which is Lifeline brand. I think that's the same as brand X. But yeah, that was I can't remember. It wasn't very much. We have a couple of Clark's cables. 
Uh, one gear, one brake. Pound for the two. And a tax quick release rear wheel skewer. Again, uh, 50 pence. I've got the right shape there to fit in in the turbo trainer properly. So that's a good item. M3 was from the same seller. Oh, for, this is class. Tiny little Rabon Chesterman tape measure. Absolutely love it. Condition. The seller was like, oh. he says, oh, I, he was hoping it down sell because he wanted to keep it. And I said to him, look, I understand if you want to keep it. And he says, no, go on, go have it. It's going to a good home. And then I felt guilty because I thought I'm more than likely sell it. But actually, looking at it, I might keep that one. Part of the collection. Just really cool. He said it was he'd, he'd done the house clearance. And the, the old guy, which had died, um, it was part of his collection and he had quite a lot of stuff that was 40, 50 years old, maybe more, and that was part of it. And also this as well, so I had the tape measure and these, bring the camera down, these nuts and bolts for five quid. So, sizing wise, and the fact that they're they're flat heads as well makes it made it attractive to buy because I restore old Sturmy Archer shifters and they a lot of the time have got bolts that are really bad condition or they're missing. And these are fitting for them, they'll they'll look the part. And they've got all the the nuts needed as well, so the sizing is gonna be ideal and I ain't gonna have to struggle through loads of nuts to get one that's got the right thread pitch they're all matching so five quid it was worth getting them I literally have no no bolt old type of bolts left now to restore any of the uh, well, not restore, just fix the Sturmy Archers that I buy. But obviously now I have. Oh yeah, a couple more things before we get to this tub. Uh, seat post. 31.6, plain black. And a Shimano 32 chain ring. That was... Uh, Eight quid for them three. And all right, I suppose. I wanted to try to get it a little bit cheap, and but to be fair, probably get that for the more than that for the chain ring alone. So it's not too bad. What else have we got? I absolutely love this tub. I've got to show you this tub. So this was. Um, on the floor uh, with that next to it like that and I picked this up I thought right that's that's fine I'll, I'll take that straight away that's uh, an old SR uh, sake chain ring and it was next to this tub so I thought well I'll have a look in the tub and in it was just loads of bike stuff and I said to the woman look I bought off her before I said look I'll just take the whole tub rather than taking out the, the, the non-bike stuff. And she said, 15 quid for the whole tub. And I said, fine, 
I've, if I can just grab a couple of items out of any other tubs that you've got and chuck them in as well. And she said that that's absolutely fine. So you can tell that this is a box of items from somebody's collection or a shop that's been emptied. You can just tell straight away. And these are the kind of boxes that you want to find. So look at that. Yeah, it's a reflector, I know, but it's in its original packaging. CJ ID and Nephew Limited, 156 Warstone Lane, Birmingham. The address on the back. It was £1.44 at some point. But I just absolutely love that kind of stuff when it's in its original packet. Brand new old stock. Love it. Absolutely love finding that stuff. And we've got a couple of uh, Croysdale hub cleaners for cycles. Two of them. I'm not sure they'll sell, but you never know. Uh, we've got a, an inner tube, woods valve, so obviously an old tube. Um, some Clark's brake pads. Right, just looking at that, I know it's a rally, I know it's a rally that's in here, rally items. Because you can just tell from that that ticket there, that's an old rally ticket. That's the the code PGR 101 here. Yeah. And we've got some uh, new old stock spoke nipples. in their original box. Well, mammoth amount of valves. And Schrader. Must be 30 of them in there. Easy sell. Easy sellers. This ain't bike stuff, but this is a contact set. Again, a rare, a rare thing to find in its original packaging. For what motorbike it's for, I have no idea, but I'll have to do some research on it. And it could be worth, could be worth a little bit. Excuse me, I'll just have somebody knocking the door. Come on then. Come on then. It's a clever girl. It's a clever girl. Come on then. Sorry about that. She won't stop scratching the door till the letter in, so might as well have done it. What else we got in here? Hobby World. That's a little RC control servo. And I know because I used to, I used to have a lot of them. Doesn't feel very. Doesn't feel very heavy. Might be a, a plastic geared one, but again, that could be. Be worth a little bit of money. Six volt locket tail light. Uh, 
we've got a rally is it rally yeah rally uh, box there earth wire 13 inch black oh, just the lid aha a lovely rally england toy lever on the last video i showed a few different ones of these some dunlop ones um 80 ones within within a few days they all sold absolutely flew out you know, so people collect them light bracket one pound two pence on it some old seat springs what make is that Torino pedal clipping thing just the one unfortunately okay so we've got a little bag here and that fell out and I think that's a spoke yeah spout key Brooks spout key doesn't stay at the sizes which is unusual but that is a cool little item it's now in key and not even sure whether that's an old bike tool or something. Don't think it is. What else we got? Got an old freewheel. Sorry about that, my battery went. Next up, we have a United free uh, freewheel, single speed. Two of them. And we've also got these uh, track sprockets. Not quite sure what hubs they fit. Only a small diameter hole. Hopefully, we can find out what hubs they fit. Okay, I've also got a Weinman stem, mint condition. Really nice. Not seen that that particular one before. What else we got? So I found a couple of the earth cables to that uh, rally tub. So we've got two of them. Old wood guard bracket. Bit of corrosion on there. We've got another uh, another bracket, some mud guard bracket. Also another one there. No names on them. A couple more springs, seat springs. Uh, some. I'm not too sure. what bike that goes on but that's an old uh, spindle like a 
three piece. I have to ask on one of the Facebook groups. See if anybody knows what it's off. Um, we've got a BMX cup, just one. That's uh, not very useful. Put this in there. No idea. Just some sort of pri uh, pinches. Got quite a lot of these little made in England clamps. I don't know if you can see that. I presume they're like little rally cable clamps of some sort. But there's there's absolutely loads of them. Some of them have got rust and corrosion and then some are not too bad also these little fixings as well same colour I'm gonna have to find out on one of the groups what they are for as well and as you can see in the tub there's quite a few in there I need to go through what's rusted too far and, and sort out the ones that are, are usable there's some other bits that I added in the box a little car some little tub another spring another seat spring there with the bolts and there was all these in there as well large bearings completely rusted though We're all that was in that one tub so not a bad not a bad buy for 15 quid um, I've got some handlebars as well and these was 10 quid so that's just a, an old set of bars, no stamping on it, with a Wyman rear brake lever. Another, similar to that stem that I've just showed you, but it's got no stamp on it. Oh, it has. A, A, V, A. Probably be an SR custom, yeah. Custom stem. Dear comp brake levers. Rubber shrouds. And then we have got some Sake Custom bars as well. Absolute bargain, all them for 10 quid. I think that's pretty much everything. There's only one thing that I want to show you. This was actually from. Oh, it's raining again. This was actually from uh, about a month back before I'd done the shed extension. Um, uh, I totally forgot I had this. So it's a handsome dog retro mountain bike. It's not got the original chain set. But apart from that, I think the rest of it, oh, the rear drive is not original. There's not an original mech on there. 
the wheels, tyres, LX brakes. I think it's all original. Got suspension post. Nice wet trail saddle there. LX Dior LX brake levers, Planet X stem, Eastern bars, Dior shifters. All very nice. X light bar ends. Got Dior LX hubs. On the X lights. Mavic X five one seven rims. Really nice. Matching rear hub. Now, apart from that chain set, that is a really good find. Cane Creek headset. If I remember right, this was 45. Oh, that's absolutely fine for that. It's a shame about the the crank though. The guy did tell me that, that he didn't have a crank on it and he just put on what he had. Power Pro. That's still an old. An old crank, so and the 105 rear mech armadillo tyres. I like this bike, I like the forks. Really nice. Will be being stripped. Definitely stripping this one down. Another bike coming soon to the channel. One one inbred. When I decide what I'm doing with that one. That's everything. I've showed you everything that I've found before I list it for sale. So what I'll do now is just clean up the parts and get it all listed, get it all gone, and do the same again next week. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, join me next time for more carboot finds.